I bet you know some card tricks, and I'm sure you know some coin tricks, but how many tricks do you know that involve two empty halves of a snapped peanut? I snapped it in half, had the peanuts earlier today, but watch, look. I just take the two halves, you're gonna see something really strange happen. So remember, there's one empty half there. There's another empty half there. If I take the two and snap them, boom, just like that, they fuse right back together, okay? No glue, no tape. But the really cool part is if I take the, the peanut now and I snap it back in half again, you'll see that inside the halves, boom, I have, uh, so I have the peanuts have come back and I get to have another snack. This extremely organic, down to earth trick, which when you show to friends or family, well, at first they'll think you're doing a joke. How can you magic with a peanut or peanut shells? Um, you start and the expectations are very low and then boom, there's this impossible fusion effect. And pe no one's thinking, oh, um, somehow he's fusing back together and I bet it's got peanuts back inside. No one thinks that because you showed the two halves absolutely empty. So two empty halves fused together, impossibly fused. Okay, people can even examine that. No one's going to give it a shake or anything. Um, examine it and then you can take it back, snap and say, look, the peanuts have even returned. So it's magic on top of magic, really down to earth, and it uses a very cool and little known sleight of hand technique, okay? I'm gonna reveal that in just a second. I'm gonna show you some applications too, with a wine cork and an application with some coins, because it was originally invented to be used with coins. This is called the gallo pitch, um, and it's just a beautiful technique. The gallo pitch, I'm gonna share it with you now, but. Uh, Let's just, first let me ask you, let's see. I'm also going to announce the private property winners from last week. A whole bunch of you last week I entered that contest because people love mentalism and private property is a very cool gimmick. As always, you can check it out exclusively at sankeymagic.com. That's my merchandise site. Um, you can check out the private property preview. But this week, I'm going to give you a chance to win uh, probably your very favorite Sankey Magic product. And that is any product of your choice. Okay, the question this week is real simple. If you could win any Sankey Magic product, anyone on the SankeyMagic.com site, if you could win any of the products, which one would you like to win? Leave a, leave a comment down below. Below this video, leave a comment. Leave the name of the trick you'd like to win. I'm going to randomly choose 12 people, and those 12 prizes are going to be awarded next week. So I think it's an especially exciting contest. You get to choose the prize you get to win. Okay, leave a comment down below for your chance to win. Now... Before I announce the private property winners, let me show you a little bit about the Gallo Pitch. The Gallo Pitch is just an ingenious move, okay? Just a brilliant, brilliant move. Watch. Two coins, okay? Very slowly. There's coin one. There's coin two. Two coins. Now, if that isn't one of the most magical traveling of a coin, look, I'll do it again. Very slowly. Watch, okay? Two coins. You can see two coins. There's coin one. There's coin two. Now watch. And again, it travels across. Here's what I'm doing. I love this. This is all about, remember uh, when I show you this, when you practice this, it's an X pattern. The right hand is throwing its coin this way. The left hand's coin throwing it that way, okay? They're not going straight across. It's not that. It's more of a going out on an X pattern like that, not like this, okay? So... Here's the secret to this really cool technique. I'm taking one coin, showing it, and I'm throwing it like this, okay? When I pick this coin up, I only hold it for a beat, and under the action of picking it up and turning my hand over, I actually let the coin fall off onto the table. So, throw, fall. Watch again. Throw, fall. You have to practice that when you're, you first, it can't be too obvious that you're throwing the coin. It's a momentum thing. You also have to make sure that this coin doesn't, this hand doesn't stay open. There's a few things you have to remember. This is the technique. Throwing, picking up, letting it fall as I close the hand. Letting it fall as I close the hand. Now, if you combine this, apparently picking up but letting it fall off, fall off the hand, with the right hand apparently throwing its coin, but actually keeping the coin in classic palm. So it looks like I'm throwing it, but I'm actually pushing the coin up into what's called classic palm. When you combine the two, it looks like this. Coin, now slow motion. 
you would swear, watch regular speed now. There's a coin, there's a coin. Two coins. Watch, let me show you again. Okay, Throwing it, letting it fall. This way, okay? Combining them. There's a coin, there's a coin. And it's there that I palm this into the palm, hold this coin back and make it. So it looks like the coin that's coming out of here is in fact, so they're seeing the same coin twice. Which means that you can even have a copper, silver coin. Silver on one side, copper on the other. What you can do is the hands are empty, okay? but you can come out and say, here's something with two coins. Now, nobody knows if they're two coins and they're not, but just say, look, there's a silver coin. They can see silver, and there's a copper coin. They can see copper, but you actually showed the same coin twice, okay? I showed the silver side of this, and as I came up and picked this up, I throw it while I do that. So even though I'm only using one coin, it looks like silver and copper. I can say, watch the copper coin here, just a shake. Now there's the silver coin. All I'm doing is turning this over from copper side to silver side, okay? Show the silver side. And then sort of, well, then at this point, I'm gonna do this throw here, but if the silver but if the silver coin's here, and now when I do the throw, it's gonna fall out here, uh, and I'm gonna let the copper side fall that way. So all together, that little routine would look like this. Here's something with two coins. Silver coin there. So I got it backwards. <laughs> Two coins. Copper coin there. Silver coin there. Watch the silver coin like this. Now look, I got the copper coin there and uh, copper coin here and silver coin there. And you do it in the other, in the reverse direction, okay? So using one coin, that's copper, you can do two coin transposition, okay? Uh, you can make the coin travel. I came up with something called, because uh, uh, I'm going to swear very well, kind of a, the gallow pitch has been called sometimes the bitch pitch because it's such a, I guess, kind of a funky move. So I call this the bitch pitch ditch, okay? And what this is, is I can show you one coin there. You can see that, huh? And then one coin there, and watch. This one's gone. And what I did was under cover of, rather than palming the coin, okay, I let this coin fall into my lap. So I'm basically taking, picking this, this coin up. This is one coin there. I let that, f as I come back and forward, I basically let it fall into my lap. But it looks like there's the second coin, so it's a cool way to lap at the same time. So you can use this for traveling coin effect, changing coin effect, ditching a coin if it gets you one ahead in some situation. Okay, now, uh, we're going to go now. I want to come back to, oh, um, I also want to come back to this very cool thing. Uh, I've used this a ton in restaurant work, okay? I'm really excited to share that with you. But let's just get back into the peanuts, exactly how the peanut looked like two halves that then fused together. Before I do that, let me announce the winners, okay? Winners of private property. All you guys won this really cool uh, gimmick here for mentalism. Eric Efron, that's with an A, Eric A-F, uh, sorry, A. R I C Efron, Eric Efron. Rylea Bird, R I L E A H, Riley, Rylea Bird. Carrie Annette, Chad Douglas, Murray Silver, uh, Henri D'Amico or Henry D'Amico, Minecraft Maker, Nancy Anderson, Z Boy, Z Boy, you won, my friend. Henry Wynn, Jonathan Snow, and finally, Kaylin. Hammond, that's right, Kaylin, you won. Kaylin Hammond, you guys all won. Um, to uh, let my let my staff know that you won and all these things, contact them. Send them an email at contact at sankeymagic.com. Let them know your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and they will ship out uh, a private property gimmick to you. You're going to love this uh, private property. There's so many cool mentalism effects you can do with this one easy-to-use gimmick. All right? Uh, now, let's jump back in here. Okay. What I have is I have half a peanut shell. I'm really, I was thrilled when I came up with this 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 handling for this because it's a cool little trick. It's small and it's weird, but right time and place, it's really, really cool. I mean, you know, this summer, once I get past this crazy COVID stuff, this is the perfect picnic trick, right? Perfect picnic trick. People are eating nuts or a lot of bars have nuts. Uh, and then yeah, you can pause at one point uh, and go into this. So I started very casually say, you know, you can show that there's, uh, you know, here's something with two halves of a peanut. Okay, and that's all I do, two halves of peanut. What I actually am showing is a full peanut and a half where I've removed uh, the nut from it, like the two halves of peanut. Come over here. You take the half a peanut, the full one here, and now look, you can show, it's so, you can show half a peanut there and half a peanut there. Uh -huh. Half a peanut here and half a peanut there. 
And all I'm doing is the gallo pitch. The brilliant move. Half a peanut. I'm holding this back in finger palm. Nothing fancy. Just held. And because these are basically at the fingertips, it's like half a peanut here and half a peanut there. And I close this. Remember, you got to close that hand. So it looks like the half that you just showed from that hand is still in the hand, right? But it's actually the same half shown twice. And here you get to not only show two halves of something, but they're empty. Then I'm going to take this and curl my hand, and nothing in here, I've got this one here. I'm going to curl the fingers in and finger palm. I'm going to push this into a palm in my finger, okay? Finger, it's a finger palm, uh, sorry, thumb palm, I apologize. I'm pushing it up, and you can either clip it between the two fingers or just roll it in, and it's going into the crotch of the thumb, basically, that the base of the thumb in there is the thumb palm there. <laughs> And I'm going to slap these two together. Nice magic moment and spread. And notice I open the hands identically. So one is, uh, rather than this is op uh, fully like a starfish and this is closed a bit, they both sort of open like that. Okay, so it's boom like this. All eyes, when I do this, all eyes fall the peanut down. Everyone's watching there. I can bring my two hands down to the edge of the table to look. And as I come down to the edge of the table, I'm going to lap. I'm going to drop that half down into my lap like this. Then come up and show the impossible fusion. They saw two halves. They were both empty. Now you fuse them back together. Very cool trick. But then you've got the kicker, right? Then you can pass it to them and have them crack it open. You can present it as a time travel thing. I sent it back in time when the two halves were together. And now if you snap them back over, actually even before I ate, and they can find they fuse back together and the nuts are back inside, which is a cool kicker ending. Last little thing here, guys. You can do the exact same thing. If you ever work in restaurants or bars, um, all bartenders and waiters can tell you the frustration they've had by trying to take a cork out of a bottle and it broke in half. So you can do the exact same thing here, right? Have the full uh, cork here. Uh, you can pretend to. You could even start like this, showing uh, half the cork. The top half of the full cork, the broken edge like this, boom, like that. The two hands take apparently two halves. There's half there, there's half there. And again, you're doing that wonderful gallo pitch move where it looks like you're dropping there goes half and there goes half. Come up exact same, thumb palm this, slap the two together, let it fall. You can do this stand up. You don't have to get rid of this. All focus is there. So you can do this, boom, they see that. That hits the table there like that. All focus can be there. And while they pick it up or examine it on the offbeat, you ditch this in your pocket or whatever you want to do. There it is. A little intensive, little study there uh, on the brilliant Gallo pitch. A um, uh, whole bunch of cool ideas with that. And do not forget to leave a comment down below and tell me which Sankey Magic product would you like to win. Go to SankeyMagic.com. Look through. I got like almost 100 products there. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you'd like to win. And I'm going to draw or I'm going to have my staff draw 12 names at random and somebody's going to win. Uh, please, if you're enjoying this kind of close-up magic, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I think it'll appear up on over here in a moment. And if you want to take your understanding of magic, the art and science of magic, if you're ready, you've learned some simple tricks and you want to go next level, really drill in because all the stuff here is all basic stuff. There's a whole world of advanced slides, more amazing techniques, complete presentations, a lot of thinking. If you want to learn how to create your own magic, definitely check out InsideDeception.com. It's my exclusive training site. It's the world's number one training site for people who take their magic education seriously. Check it out. Memberships only start at $9.95. That's it, $9.95 to become a member there. Subscribe to the channel and please have a great day, okay? And long live real magic. Share the magic. People need magic and wonder more than ever.